There are so many types of hackers. These types of hackers are categories with their intention, goal, motive, etc. So many people ask me what type of hacker are you? In the last video I will tell you this and if you want become hacker, I recommended you to see this video because it will help you to recognize what type of hacker do you want to become. So, today we will discuss most or common 8 types of hackers in the world in 2022. And I am teaching people about hacking private you can get me on Twitter, you will learn full beginner to professional. If you are basic and you want learn hacking send direct message on Twitter right now. Now let's start our topic. The first and my favorite is White Hat Hacker These are the good hackers that use their technical skills to protect the world from the black hat hackers. White Hat Hackers are also known as ethical hackers. They're equally talented at professionals who possess degrees and certifications in cybersecurity and ethical hacking. White Hat Hackers employ the same hacking techniques as black hat hackers, but they do so legally and with the authorization or permission of the system owners. You may be surprised to know just how common white hat hackers are. White hat hackers often can be found in the roles of security specialists, information security analysts, pen testers, and cybersecurity researchers. They work as independent consultants or freelancers as well. You might even have one or two as colleagues at your company. White hat hackers' intentions are to educate users about various cyber threats and ways to prevent them identify vulnerabilities and exploits in applications and infrastructure so organizations can fix them, help organizations strengthen their overall security posture, develop software that detects and removes malware, make contingency plans in the event of a cyber attack. There work so many things to protect you from black hat attacker, for example. Some white hat hackers are programmers who develop security products such as antivirus, anti-malware, anti-spyware, firewalls, browser security extensions, honeypots, and data filters. White hat hackers also develop tools and techniques for websites to identify and mitigate cyber attacks, such as DDoS attacks, brute force attacks, cross-site scripting, and SQL injections, etc. The second is Black Hat Hacker Black Hat hackers are criminals who break into computer networks with malicious intent. They may also release malware that destroys files, holds computers hostage, or steals passwords, credit card numbers, and other personal information. Black Hat hackers are criminals who bypass security protocols and break into computer networks. Their primary goal is to make money, but sometimes, they're involved in corporate espionage or activism. Not only do they look to steal data, but they often seek to modify or destroy it, depending on their motivations. People belonging to this category can be any age, gender, or ethnicity. They can be computer geniuses but many cyber criminals are beginners. Of course, not everyone can write complex exploit chains, but some attacks don't require an extremely high level of coding. Those people are also good at social engineering. While they may seem like hoodie-clad loners who spend their entire days in front of the screen, they can be quite good at persuading victims to click on their links or download their files. The third is Grey Hat Hacker. Gray hat hackers represent the middle ground between white hat hackers and black hat hackers. If a gray hat hacker succeeds in gaining a legitimate access to a system or network, they may suggest that a system administrator hire them or a friend to pay to fix the problem. However, this practice has decreased due to the increased willingness of companies to sue. Some companies use bug bounty programs to encourage gray hat hackers to report their findings. In these cases, organizations offer a premium to avoid the wider risk of hackers exploiting vulnerabilities for their own benefit. However, this isn't always the case, so getting the company's approval is the only way to ensure hackers are acting within the law. Gray hat hackers sometimes become black hat hackers by posting attack vectors on the internet or even exploiting vulnerabilities themselves if the organization does not respond in a timely manner or does not comply with regulations. The fourth is Red Hat Hacker. Red Hat Hackers has an agenda similar to White Hat Hackers which in simple words is halting the acts of Black Hat Hackers. However, there is a major difference in the way they operate. They are ruthless when it comes to dealing with Black Hat Hackers. 
instead of reporting a malicious attack. They believe in taking down the Black Hat hacker completely. Red Hat hackers will launch a series of aggressive cyber attacks and malware on the hacker that the hacker may as well have to replace the whole system. These types of hackers are my favorite too. The fifth is Script Kiddas A derogatory term often used by amateur hackers who don't care much about their programming skills. These hackers usually download tools or use available hacking code written by other developers and hackers. Their main purpose is usually to impress friends or attract attention. However, they are not interested in learning. Using off-the-shelf code and tools, these hackers can launch some attacks without caring about the quality of the attack. The most common cyber attacks by script kiddies include DOS and DDoS attacks. The sixth is Blue Hat Hacker. Blue Hat hackers are types of hackers who are similar to script kiddies. The intent to learn is missing. They use hacking as a weapon to gain popularity among their fellow beings and main agenda is to take revenge on anyone who makes them angry. They use hacking to settle scores with their adversaries. Blue Hat Hackers is dangerous due to the intent behind the hacking rather than their knowledge. The seventh is State, Nation-Sponsored Hackers Today, most sophisticated nations have thousands, if not tens of thousands, of skilled hackers on the payroll. Their job, sneak behind enemy lines at other nations' military and industrial networks to map assets and install malicious backdoors. That way, when hostilities happen, the cyber warfare machine will be ready. Stuxnet, which took down hundreds of Iranian centrifuges, is the poster child for cyber warfare. North Korea's 2014 hack into Sony Pictures' site in retaliation for a movie the country's propaganda machine found offensive is equally notorious. These are just the big stories. Nation-state hacking happens all the time, mostly quietly, and it isn't going anywhere. The attacking nation certainly won't do anything to prevent it or punish the hackers because they are soldiers doing their job to further the country's objectives. The eighth or last is Hacktivist Hacktivism started as a way for people to protest online to affect change. A hacktivist is motivated by civil disobedience and seeks to spread an ideology. In some cases, this ideology includes total anarchy. Still, hacktivists are typically not motivated by malicious intent. Hacktivists also steal money or data in an effort to spread their agenda. However, their motivation is more like that of Robin Hood. They seek to take from those who have and give freely to those who have not. They typically see themselves as vigilantes who use hacking to enact social justice and policy changes. Hacktivists employ the same tools and tactics as typical hackers. For example, their tactics can range from spreading a message through simple website defacement or exploitation through the use of doxing. They may even launch a distributed denial-of-service attack to bring down entire networks. But unlike normal hackers, hacktivists do not always work alone. Hacktivists can also work as part of a coordinated group or organization. These groups can range in size from a few friends in a basement to an entire decentralized network of hackers around the world. Examples of hacktivists are Anonymous, Wikileaks, and more. If you want to know about hacktivists, check this website, it will tell you everything you need about hacktivists. I hope this video cleared up your thoughts on the kinds of hackers out there and helped you get a new insight into the hacking world. I hope you will choose legal way like white hat hacker, red hat and more. Thanks for watching this article so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. If you have any questions or feedback then please drop a comment. And which is best for you, drop on the comment. Thank you for subscribing.